Now, aside from service and manufacturing, increasing bilateral trade has also contributed to that high GDP growth. Official figures show that bilateral trade in 2013-14 fiscal years grew by 5 billion US dollars as compared to the previous fiscal year. Border trade saw an overview of 1 billion dollar increase while sea shipments grew by over 3 billion dollars. Despite this, Myanmar is still trying to stabilize factors that affect trade and investments. Bangkok Research Center and Japan External Trade Organization have conducted a seminar Tuesday to discuss challenges and opportunities for Myanmar's integration to international economy. Myanmar export structure is, is mostly the primary sectors, no, not the value-added one, not the manufacturing ones. That, that one, we, we, we don't have uh, the benefit of the value change. That's why we need to uh, link with the uh, one is the value change. At the same time, we need to link with uh, the production network. I think there will be more foreign investment uh, and there will be more uh, export and import uh, in Myanmar, but uh, the amount of foreign exchange traded uh, uh, within uh, this uh, country will increase, sometimes increase and sometimes uh, decrease. So that means uh, there can be uh, lots of fluctuations in exchange rate and that will uh, damage ordinary exporters or importers. So there will be more need to uh, stabilize the exchange rate. For that purpose, uh, the reform is not enough as uh, long as we have a large uh, informal foreign exchange market. Discussions included topics on export, foreign exchange and dollarization.